I'm Dan Costa with PC Mag, still covering CES 2016. You knew we were going to cover drones, and if you're going to cover drones, you have to visit DJI. We are here at DJI's booth. We have their link here, an eyes on view of their latest drones. We've got someone who's going to answer your questions about drones, about DJI, about what's new. Oh, yeah. tell Michael, me, tell me what we're going to be doing too within what Oh, that's right. We are we are periscoping this, of course. You know that because you're watching this on Periscope. We are also they are Snapchatting us at the same time. We are periscoping them. So it just creates this weird social media feedback loop. I don't know, an infinite, an alternate universe could open up at this moment. Yeah, so, but we're here to talk about drones. Let's talk about, actually, let's talk about the rig before we get to drones. Talk about what's new at the show. Uh, this is an amazing device. I'm really glad we stopped by. I think we may wind up having to buy one because our rig is looking a little, a little lame by comparison. <laughs> well, thank you very much for the word, kind words. This is the DJI Osmo, and uh, it's as you can see, it's not a drone. Yeah. And it surprises most people because everyone wants to see a drone. And and this camera is a 4K resolution on a three-axis gimbal, and it weighs under a pound, right? So you can view what you're seeing through your phone based on the Wi-Fi connectivity, but still getting a three-axis smooth shot. And the camera can also lock into place where you get different modes on which to control it. So this thing is actually going to revolutionize all of filmmaking. So it's filmmaking too, because you're talking 4K, you're talking super high quality. Yeah. You know, this is a, it's like having a GoPro, but you can it's like using a GoPro, but actually having a mount that you can actually make good film out of. The question I ask is, why would you ever shoot a video without a gimbal ever again? Yeah. Because you can be an amateur with zero skills and still get cinema style quality. Yeah. Have you been using it? Have you used it yourself? I use it religiously every day. I, I actually have it attached to my hand. Um, oh yeah, they want to see the back. Oh uh, yeah, hey, let me... Um, it's not actually loaded right now. No, it's but, totally uh, <laughs> it doesn't have to be loaded. They want, they want to see that. Oh, they want to see the back. Yeah. yeah. So, so you have a button here, and you can go into selfie mode by clicking three times. You can double tap and took it back to the original, or you have this awesome joystick that you can control the directional of the camera. So, the versatility is really limitless. Yeah. Very slick. Very easy to use. And uh, we should probably talk about drones too, though. I guess we can do that. Might as well talk yeah. about drones. Unless there's any questions about. Just so somebody shout out. Good. Good. People love it. Oh, by the way, so share this share this periscope. Give us a few hearts if you like what we're doing. And give us some questions because uh, Mike will answer anything you ask him. I've been promised. Anything. Anything at all. So let's talk about drones. Absolutely. Let's talk so. about drones. So well, one of the biggest stories of the show. And you guys are right there at the front of it. Well, I mean, you can see that, you know, the, the food traffic here has been incredible and everyone really wants to see what's the latest, what's the greatest, and what is DJI coming out with next. And we're looking at the M100. We recently came out with this drone. This is a fully developer-ready drone. Now, this one is a very basic model, but the more advanced model has sensors that actually avoid objects. So, kind of useful. Kind of useful, right? Spend so, if you're life flying your drone. full speed into a tree, this one question, spelling of the camera. So, how do you spell the name of the camera? Osmo, O-S-M-O. There you go. So, so this drone is ready for developers. And the software is fully customizable and it's ready for commercial applications. So imagine double stacking a battery and getting up to 40 minutes of flight time on the yeah. That's revolutionary. So you guys are also making a lot of changes to the software, you know, making the drones easier to fly, adding new features. You want to just talk a little bit about those sort of usability enhancements? Yeah, so so rapid sensors give you indoor GPS. So you don't even have to be outside to have this thing stable. It'll just hover in the air without you having to move it. Right? LA, obviously, this is a, the drone has sort of transformed the filmmaking industry. To our content, right? Imagine you being on the road with your friends and you're and you're at the beach and there's a beautiful scene, right? And you don't have anyone to take a picture. Send your drone up there, see exactly where you need to go. Imagine if you, you know, you're on family vacation and uh, and grandma and grandpa aren't there, but your kids are surfing for the first time. You can live stream directly to YouTube from the drone and send them a link. They can be right there with you. It's pretty cool. So, and if you guys have questions, shout them out. We will have Michael in the meantime. One of the big anxieties people have with drones, they're afraid of losing it. They're afraid they're going to send it up, it's going to get out of range, and they're going to lose it. Uh, but it, it is gone. It, it got out of range, and it is just it just kept going. How, uh, how often does that happen, and what does DJI do to make sure that doesn't happen? You know, at the end of the day, you know, technology does have issues, and what we do to prevent that is we try to educate our end users as much as possible. We try to have our service team be as responsive for them if anyone has any questions, or then ask questions. And we have a vast network of our hobby end users that are there to kind of help the new drone users onboard the technology. But, you know, at the end of the day, 
you're flying a craft that you normally wouldn't be able to do five years ago, right? Yeah. So every day. And there are a lot, and it's rarer and rarer. Like you guys have, at your level, uh, you don't use drones very often. They return to center, they return home. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's when you buy these, you know, fly by night, more affordable, you know, basically quadcopters that don't have any intelligence to them. And uh, that's where you run into trouble. That's where I ran into trouble. Yeah, I mean, not to bash anyone else, but we really trace, stay true to the brand. We make sure to put an emphasis on the technology that we put out because we want our customers to be safe and we want them to have fun at the end of the day because at the end of the day, you're flying a, you're flying a drone. Like, how awesome is that, right? Yeah, yeah, that says it all. It says it all. It's been uh, PC Mag. We're going to go on. We're going to look at some other cool stuff. The show is still on. It's only day two of CES. How long is it? Oh man, a couple of weeks, but in reality, two days. <laughs> I was going to say, it's a, it feels seems, like two weeks. Seems like a month, yeah. Thank you so much for answering our questions and spending time with us. This has been PC Mag talking on Periscope with DJI. Stay tuned, follow us, like us, and we will have more coverage very soon.